this pretty incredible interview defying the law in his family. The son of Hamas leader Sheikh Hassan Youssef, an accused terrorist, the son is speaking out for the first time. Masab Youssef is his name. He abandoned Islam, converted to Christianity, and moved to California. Why did he leave his faith? Is he now in danger? It's an exclusive interview. Jonathan Hunt did it. He is in San Diego for us. Uh, John, first, why did he turn away from Hamas and Islam? Well, it's a very good question, Jane, given that this is just not an ordinary young Palestinian man. This is a man who grew up steeped in Islamic culture as the son of Sheikh Hassan Youssef, one of the preeminent political figures in the Hamas movement in the West Bank, a man who's been imprisoned by Israel some 15 times. But it was when his son, Mossab, was himself sent to prison by Israel that he started spending a lot of time talking to other senior Hamas members. And that is when he began to turn against the organization he'd been brought up in. They saw their torture torturing people in a very, very bad way. Hamas that members torturing other Hamas, Hamas members. Hamas leaders, yeah. Hamas leaders, that we see them on the TVs now, okay, and big leaders were responsible for torturing their own members. So, Jane, we also talked to him just about how difficult a decision this was for him, uh, leaving behind not just his family, but his faith too. This is how he described that decision. Taking your skin off your bones is what happened. I love my family. They love me. And uh, my little brothers, like they're my, my sons, I, I raise them up. And... Uh, uh, basically, uh, it was the biggest decision in my life. I left everything behind me, not only family. And Jane, I also asked him of the obvious question, is he afraid for his life? Given what we saw happen in the wake of those Danish cartoons predicting, uh, p uh, showing the Prophet Muhammad in poses that were deemed to be offensive, is he, Mosab Hassan Youssef, now afraid that people may try to kill him? This was his answer to that question. They gotta kill uh, my ideas first, which is like, that's it. They're already uh, out. So how are they gonna kill my idea? How are they gonna kill my opinions that I have? This thing that they can do, they can't kill my body, but they can't kill my soul. So Jane, as you can see, he is an extraordinary young man. He has been on an extraordinary spiritual and physical journey. And we will have much more from this exclusive interview throughout the day on Fox. Jane? Jonathan Hunt for us with uh, quite an interview in San Diego there. John, thank